We are on the verge of a new era of unmen racing in sports cars. The first such competition took place in Abu Dhabi. It involved eight teams and eight Dallara Super Formula SF23 cars with identical technical specifications. Success will depend solely on the abilities and skills of programmers who will create artificial intelligence, teach it to control the car at high speed, and avoid collisions. The prize pool of the event is $2.25 million. The cars are equipped with seven cameras, LIDARs for distance detection with other objects, and other sensors. All signals are processed by AI, which will make decisions about speed selection and maneuvering. In the future, such developments will contribute to the autonomy of regular cars in terms of control, making driving safer. The largest telecommunications operator in Japan, KDDI, built a communication tower using several Gitai robots without direct human involvement on site. Tests took place in a desert, simulating the lunar surface. A rover was used to transport components and three robots were involved in construction. The tower structure consists of modules stacked on top of each other, and each module has a place for the robot's arms to attach. The robot's arm can grab a new module brought by the rover and install it on the next level. Then, the arm moves itself up to the next level, continuing construction. As a result, a tower 16 feet tall was built. The uniqueness of the invention lies in the ability of the arms to attach to the base and grab from any side. This innovation is planned to be used on the moon to establish stable communication. The next invention is also designed for use in space. Gradually, space junk accumulates in orbit from launches of various spacecraft, and it orbits around the Earth damaging satellites. To remove it, a unique anti-space debris system called Dark Interceptor has been developed, consisting of a large boxing glove and a rocket engine. The invention is launched from an airplane which passes through the lower layers of the atmosphere. This process takes several minutes. The glove then moves autonomously guided by sensors. Once it reaches the object, it aims at it and gently hits it, knocking it out of orbit. This will help clean up space from drifting rocket stages and various debris. Moreover, it doesn't cause an explosion that could create additional small particles scattering in orbit. If you're tired of housework, you might be interested in the new creation from Chinese scientists, the incredibly fast humanoid robot Astrobot S1. This device is stationed behind a counter guided by AI and can learn on its own. With its two hands having five joints each, it skillfully handles household chores. The robot can perform tasks such as ironing and neatly folding clothes, opening a bottle of beer or wine, pouring the contents into a glass, and chopping vegetables in the kitchen. It can also make furniture from wood, organize office supplies, take care of houseplants, connect other electrical appliances, vacuum, and make hot sandwiches. The machine can even write neatly. Throwing away trash and hitting the trash can accurately is not a problem for it. As for entertainment, the developers have added a dancing function to it. Now, meet the next worthy player in the world of humanoid robots. It may not be as fast, but it can understand verbal commands. The machine recognizes human speech, memorizes data about object locations, and builds a 3D map of the area. Then, the robot, human-sized, navigates using its own map, avoiding collisions with objects, and finds the object. With a pair of gripper hands, it follows voice commands. If something is unclear, it can ask for clarification using voice commands to understand the task better. For example, it can find vegetables or fruits in a specified location, pack them into a box, and carry the box to another place. Unlike the previous innovation, this machine can walk and has a good sense of balance, expanding its range of uses. The new product is planned to be released in two versions, for household use and for commercial manual labor. Growing plants for food in arid coastal areas near the ocean is challenging due to low rainfall and lack of fresh water. But what if we grow such plants underwater? Scientists from Italy dare to experiment with this by creating the Nemo Underwater Garden. 
the underwater greenhouse consists of a transparent dome with a ventilation system inside. Air inside the greenhouse heats up from the sun's rays penetrating through the water. When this warm air comes into contact with the cooled glass walls, it condenses into distilled water suitable for irrigation. Additional lighting is used at night to continue the photosynthesis process. This makes the underwater greenhouse glow in the dark. Sensors monitor temperature, humidity, and air composition, transmitting data to a central control panel. Using this method, basil, tomato, beans, green peas, and flowers have already been grown, with more chlorophyll and antioxidants in them. It's not just plants that can thrive at the bottom of the ocean anymore. The new compact submarine Triton 660-9 AVA, which can carry nine people, is designed to take tourists underwater. It's the first of its kind not meant for research operations, but for simple underwater sightseeing for anyone interested. The invention is certified for diving to a depth of 660 feet. Its oval acrylic cabin has panoramic windows, offering a spacious view of the marine depths. Inside, there are leather upholstered sofas. In the middle, there's a large open space that can be turned into a bar, dining area, or spa center, all against the backdrop of the ocean floor. This innovation is planned to be installed on cruise ships like the Scenic Eclipse 2, allowing tourists to enjoy their cocktail without getting their feet wet. Using water turbines in energy production is more challenging than their wind counterparts, due to the constant exposure to water. But scientists from the USA have managed to create a new type of tidal turbine made of thermoplastic. Plastic is easily shaped when heated, unaffected by water, and doesn't rust. It's environmentally friendly, and recycled materials can be used to make the blades. The new tidal turbines have three supports connected by a common tubular base. The structure is placed on the riverbed at a depth of 33 feet. The blades spin from the natural flow of water. Inside the rear block of each turbine is a data collection system. It adjusts the blade angle for increased efficiency. Recently, such a water turbine was tested in the East River Canal through which water flows from the ocean into New York Bay. Over an operation period of nine months, the setup generated 300 megawatt hours of electricity for the city's power grid, demonstrating readiness for commercial use. How can we diversify and enrich the vegan menu without violating the basic principles of vegetarianism? The answer comes from a Swedish startup that creates salmon fillets using a 3D printer. They use mycoprotein and the latest extrusion technology to integrate fats into a fibrous protein matrix. Mycoprotein is derived from filamentous fungi. It naturally mimics the texture of fish or meat and requires minimal processing. The product is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and contains vitamins A, B2, B3, B6, B12, D2, and amino acids. This new invention will enable mass production of food using 3D printers, including other seafood. Salmon filet from a 3D printer has already been introduced to Billa supermarkets by the Reway Group. The U.S. Defense Research Corporation has unveiled its armored autonomous vehicle. It has successfully undergone autonomous driving tests in field conditions. The Racer Heavy platform weighs 26,000 pounds and is 20 feet long. It has a tracked base, giving it high maneuverability in the toughest conditions. During tests, it maneuvered through authentic military training grounds in Texas, easily overcoming all-terrain obstacles. The armored vehicle can reach speeds of up to 25 miles per hour and in autonomous mode it covered 30 miles. This vehicle not only boasts impressive specifications, it also has a futuristic appearance, with its sleek design and green indicators signaling its operational status. Small autonomous coffee machines no longer surprise us. But how about a fully autonomous robotic cafe? Robotic Cafe is the world's first fully automated cafe that doesn't require a waiter. You can order various drinks, ice cream, and snacks there. Instead of staff, there is a robotic arm that can quickly and accurately fulfill orders. Automation allows processing four cups of drinks simultaneously, so even when there's a queue, orders will be completed in a timely manner. 
The cafe owner can remotely monitor all processes, receiving alerts to restock specific items. Such a cafe can be placed in shopping malls, parks, or other places with large streams of potential customers. The German company IGAS has started producing bicycles from recycled plastic. Environmentally friendly production involves using various plastic waste, including fishing nets, to create most of the parts. 92% of the bicycle is made of plastic. To improve cornering, engineers have increased the steering wheel turning angle, added a free wheel mechanism to the transmission, included stronger plastic ball bearings that don't require lubrication, and installed a kickstand with two supports to make parking easier. The bike weighs 27.5 pounds and costs around $1,300. Such bicycles require less maintenance and are more resistant to external factors. Walmart has deployed AI-powered electric forklifts in its warehouses. They can operate autonomously under operator supervision or switch to manual control. Equipped with sensors and cameras, the forklift can locate pallets and safely transport them to their destination, overcoming obstacles. It can also interact with other equipment and warehouse workers. Such forklifts have great potential as many warehouses and logistics terminals face a shortage of drivers. Therefore, Foxbots can solve this problem by handling heavy lifting. This underwater research drone is shaped like a penguin. It was developed by the German company EvoLogix. The design of the autonomous device is based on the appearance of the Adelie penguin. Using four rear engines, the robot can dive to a maximum depth of 492 feet and reach a top speed of 11.5 miles per hour. The device is used to collect data on ocean currents using onboard sensors. Additionally, the underwater device is equipped with sensors to measure temperature, pressure, oxygen levels, conductivity, and water fluorescence at various depths. With the help of a hydrolocator, the device can collect data to create acoustic images of the seabed, while cameras and lighting can capture high-resolution videos. The Water Car EV is an unusual electric car that smoothly transitions between land and water with a simple push of a button. Its body is made of aluminum and stainless steel, giving it an elegant appearance. Inside, the body is filled with special foam, increasing buoyancy and making the boat practically unsinkable. The electric car can travel over 100 miles on a single battery charge. Therefore, it can be used for everyday life, not just for leisure trips. It is spacious enough to accommodate up to six people and is an eco-friendly mode of transportation because the electric motor reduces carbon dioxide emissions on land, while the efficient marine engine minimizes its impact on the water. Chinese automotive giant BYD has unveiled a bold concept for a premium class electric supercar. It's a two-seater car with scissor doors, a double cabin separated by a body stripe and built-in carbon fiber seats. Its cabin is designed like a fighter jet with a Formula One style racing wheel. The main feature of this supercar is that it has no roof or windshield. Therefore, the driver and passenger will fully feel the speed, with both being separated by only a partition. The car's design only hints at a slight glass protrusion in front of each seat helping to guide the wind. The design of this car is bold and futuristic. The electric aircraft developer Beta Technologies tested the Alia EV Tall with a pilot on board. It successfully took off vertically and transitioned to forward flight mode. This is a key test as the company aims to certify the aircraft for multiple use cases. The aircraft is initially planned for military use, followed by cargo and commercial passenger transport. It has a wingspan of 50 feet and can carry up to five passengers, including a pilot. It is powered by high-density lithium batteries, providing a range of 250 miles. Its maximum speed is 138 miles per hour. The primary goal of this aircraft is to transport cargo for organ transplant operations from hospital to hospital. Intel has developed a robot that can be 3D printed by anyone. This device is open source, works with a smartphone, and costs less than $50.
The team claims that printing the base panel takes about 13.5 hours, while the lids with the phone holder take 9.5 hours. Assembling the robot is quite simple and it takes less than an hour. A smartphone with a special app can be attracted to the finished structure. The robot can move autonomously and perform recognition tasks such as following a person. Currently, this robot can be launched using an Android smartphone. Its creators are testing possible functions and improving the software to make it useful for everyday life. Students from Dalarna University in Sweden have created an efficient railway transport, setting a world record at the Dilsbo Electric Competition. This vehicle is placed on rails and looks like a rocket. Similar to a car, it has a small windshield at the front for visibility. It can accommodate up to five people. The vehicle weighs around 220 pounds and is 217 inches long. It is powered by 12 volt batteries. During the competition, the vehicle covered a distance of two miles in 20 minutes. The engine was used for less than two minutes as the vehicle moved by momentum the majority of the time. The team's final efficiency score was 0.84 watt hours per passenger kilometer. Delsbo Electric claims that this is a new world record. Which invention impressed you the most? Comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and give this video a like. See you soon.